So, Bibbles, Jane all back to answer more goddamn questions. And we're carrying off from fucking yesterday, the paid scaroonies, because there's quite a few of them, and I think there was two or so that came in today, so that'll take up the entire goddamn vid, I'm sure. So let's not waste any time. Let's get them chopping down. Robert Green, paid question. Most paid scaroonies of all. Him and, well, him and Tommy Becker. Uh, what's up, J-Dog? Saw you had another zero paid order question. <laughs> yeah, those happen. I can't sit by and watch this barbarism any longer, damn it. I mean, you're not obligated to fucking send them, man. But hey, if you want to, um, go ahead. But yeah, don't feel like you're obligated. Especially you of all don't need to because you fucking order all the goddamn time, too. So you're you're doing a hell of a lot more than half these fucking bozos that they ain't buying shit. And boy, I'm not even talking about from hell. They just, all they do is sit, sit around and watch goddamn dumbass fucking YouTube. And then what, what they do buy, I can tell you what they buy, man. They buy their dumbass sports jerseys, their ball caps. Man, I got my fat shack. Fucking their weed, their sneakers, just their their Budweisers. They got money for metal. It's like you're spending on fucking stupid, useless shit, and it truly shows what you're actually, what you are into. So, you're not one of those guys. Uh, hopefully, this is at least a semi funny one. Uh, I've been ordering off Hell's Headbangers for ten years now. I can verify that, bra bra. <laughs> but I actually believe you. Most people are like I, I place tons of orders. Really. What's your email? What's your uh, full net la uh, first and last name? I've literally had it where guys have said that. Search. No order history. I was like, <laughs> it would be in there. It goes back uh, over 10 years, I think. I forget how long back. Uh, whenever the site administrator, we started using it. It's a long fucking time. That's for goddamn sure. Over 10 years. Zero order history. I'm like, dude, you're just fucking yanking my chain. You can get fucking lost. <laughs> I can totally verify that shit. Uh, been around for 10 years. What do you rate the quality of my orders? Dog approved or total poser canoe shit? Said a lot of my orders, 2023 to 2024, orders are based off the stuff you talked about in your videos. Well, then we know that's not going to be goddamn canoe. <laughs> How about my orders from 2014 to 2022? Any dog jams regularly, or do I just look like a bandwagon hopping knob? <laughs> Give it to me raw. <laughs> well, let's look this goddamn homeboy up. Let's look up Greeny Boy in the system. Pull him up. Pull up the stats. All right, well, first off the gate, I'm not going to lie, man. This this makes my dick itch when I see this every single time. It makes my goddamn job a million times harder. Why do you have 10 different accounts? Uh, just place one. Uh, it looks like you're using the one, though, since 2014. It's the same guy. Oh, <laughs> might be another Robert Green. Or did you move, bra bra? Ah, Florida, I'm pretty sure you moved. Did you used to live in? Well, I'm not going to see. I'm going to shout out your address. <laughs> But uh, we got an account from two from uh, this last year that have different emails. Maybe you send them to Buds. They're the same address as you. Focus on those accounts. Yeah, you have one order account that you placed in an order on July 21st, 2023. What was that order? Carcass Symphonies of Sickness. Obviously, that's one of the greatest goddamn records of all motherfucking time. So that's fitting. Another another account what he created the week before. Like, why does he need to create two different accounts? Is what my question is. Suffocation bringing the spawn. Yeah, I'm a fan of that record. Then let's go back to so 2017. You did a guest checkout. Not sure why you thought that was necessary, especially when you already had an account created in 2014 under your Rob G email. You got three orders under there in 2017. Goat Moon, Stella Polaris. <clears throat> yes, I do like that record. Uh, White Death, White Death. Yes, I do like that record, too. The new one's very, very good, too. I like them both. And then uh, on February 9th, 2017, you ordered two incantation shirts. So, yep, yep, yep. So, let's go. You said what years? You created an account on... How many fucking years you go over? 2014 and 22. Okay, well, your Rob G count, which it seems like placing most of the orders... What the fuck are you doing over there, God damn it! You're gonna be fucking my shit up. Uh, yeah, okay, we got a list here. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, my kind of list, God damn it! <laughs> so it's just bad damn boot you too. So, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, this this, uh, this is an order here, God damn it! This is verifiable. So the account that you used on your Rob G account that you created in 2014. And look at this laundry list. Fucking holy shit ski. 
So on July 2nd, 2014, back in 2014, Robert G. placed a goddamn order for Inquisition invoking the majestic throne of Satan, uh, Hell's Pressing CD, the Digipack Pones. And then, so under this account, he alone, he has 135 orders. Mm -hmm. That's somebody that fits the fucking bill, goddammit. So, yeah, there's no way I'm fucking clicking on all these bro town, but uh, January uh, 5th, 2016, uh, you ordered two Satanic War Master shirts. So, yeah, that fits the bill. I'm a Satanic War Master fan. And it, it, it's good to show me that you're uh, not one of these fucking pussy boys that's in the cancel culture and stupid shit. Uh, I, I have no problem if somebody doesn't like Satanic War Master. Like, I don't like that kind of black metal. Like, for example, you saw up, it went up by now. My goddamn Brian Baxter interview. Do I think Brian Baxter like goddamn White Death? I might, well, he's White Death as well, but Satanic War Master? Highly fucking doubt it. I bet money that he does it. But he doesn't like him for the pussy fucking reasons. They're a bunch of racists. Not a cancel him. I care what kind of breakfast fucking cereal he fucking likes. He's not, he doesn't not like him because of that. He doesn't like him because he doesn't like black men. Not pussy shit. So. Out the gate, what I what I like when I see a satanic war master buyer, um, Grant, a lot of those guys that are super fans of that stuff, they they tend to uh, not like a lot of the same shit I do, which is fine. I don't give a fuck because I don't I don't care about what anybody listens, listens to. But what what bing goes off that I that I do like about them is like just, they're not a cancel culture fucking pussy fucking boy. That's 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 the number one thing. So it's like you already checked that box. So I was like, all right, they, they at least got something going for them. Uh, November 21st, 2016, you placed an order for two dissection shirts. Oh, yeah, I guess you, are you the guy, too? Let me tell you, uh, is it you or is it Tommy Becker? You might both do this. You, when you place orders, I, I'm almost positive it's you. When you place orders, which is for, fine by me, buy as much as you want, especially in recent times, you buy some shirts, but you buy, like, yeah, here it is, like Pestilence Consuming Impulse, you bought three larges. I know you've done that for a bunch of other titles, which is buy 20 for all I give a shit. I mean, I don't think we have 20 pestilence, but I'm saying, whatever the fuck we do, buy as many as you want. Um, I, my question is, why do you do that? I don't I don't know. Is it because you just uh, give them one to your... My, my guess was, the shop talk was, he's probably uh, one for himself and maybe a, uh, one for a friend. Or maybe he's a goddamn... Uh, <laughs> Grand Kanye didn't buy three, he bought two. Uh, little inside fucking scoop, uh, Jim Kanye. He would not wear any of his shirts unless he had two of them. He bought two of every single shirt, and if he could only get one, he wouldn't wear it. And his model, I'm like, well, why? why? He's like, what, 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 if, what if I'm out in the fucking mountain? I'm wearing it, and a goddamn bear tears it off my goddamn back? Now I don't got the goddamn shirt no more. I'm like, well, what are the odds that a bear is going to tear it off your fucking back? That's the same, dude. What happens? Now I don't got the goddamn shirt no more. So he's like, I got one for wearing and one for collecting. Store, uh, archive. <laughs> Uh, but three, hell, I think he's even bought fours and fives of some of them. I think like Mantis, Death by Metal shirt, it was three, or I think he might even buy five of those. I was like, what the fuck's homeboy need five? Again, not complaining. Works for me. <laughs> I'm just saying. As far as I rate your orders, two paws up, Rob, right? On quantity and titles. Nothing in there look canoe at all. And again, I'm not clicking on 135 orders, plus the fucking other eight unnecessary accounts. So uh, all your accounts, goddammit, place them under Robert, the Rob G fucking uh, email. Man, that gets my dick itchy. Because there is a couple other guys that, uh, hey, what is my order ship? And like, don't have an order number either. I'm, all right. Search their last name. And glad to see it. They placed literally, no joke, 100 orders. But they all under different accounts. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Why, why are you setting up a new account every time or checking out as a guest? If you, I get it if you like came to this, uh, a site, because I've done this myself, right? I only need this one thing, and I'm probably never ordering from this company ever again, just because I just need this as a one-time thing. Like, let's say you're buying, like, a, I don't know, a battery for something. You're like, this is a one-time thing. I just need this. I I'm never going to order from this website again. Yes, I'll check out as a guest, too. But if it's a site that you're like, holy fuck, they got a lot of shit, and you would think by order fucking 35, you would have established that goddamn opinion hopefully before that. And you're like, oh, shit, I'm going to bookmark this site and I'm going to order from it. Why wouldn't you just have a goddamn account on your email? Number one, it's going to be a fuck of a lot more convenient. You're not going to type in your address and all this other shit. All your info is going to be saved. Number two, when your order ships, bing, tracking goes right to your goddamn email. <laughs> like, why, like why, why wouldn't you do that? Most of your orders, you've been doing that. But I'm saying that's it, it's annoying for me when I have to search the order because I was like, dude, there's a, there's 100 links. I was like, dude, I'm not clicking on all these links. 
because you don't got an email for, for a three second tracking. Like literally to dig up a tracking number that would have went directly to your goddamn email. I, I'm not clicking on a hundred of the fucking links. You find that number, Rob, Rob, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Next goddamn pain question. Philip Cooper, another goddamn regular. Seems like all these fucking guys were just cool as fuck. God damn, let's get some new folks. Same people, um, almost like they feel obligated, which nobody's goddamn obligated to say paid shit. I want to see some new fucking blood in the paid skis, and especially the goddamn ladies. We've only had two so far. That's pathetic as fuck. Nothing but goddamn sausage fest over here. I want to see some fucking bun over here, goddamn it, asking some questions. That's something good, too, goddamn it. Philip Kvlar. Paid Scaroonie. That's the dog's favorite. The, who, who, I wouldn't be the dog's favorite. <laughs> oh, shit, it's a gym question. Uh oh gym question. All you lazy devils, tune the fuck out. Tune the fuck out. Sign the fuck out. Do whatever the fuck you want or skip through it. So you got a bunch more paid skis to go through. Dog, Necrophil here from Denver. Because <laughs> I just know who Necrophil. By the way, you kind of spelled it wrong. because I'm assuming it's Necrophil. You put Necri. <laughs> neck with an I instead of no. Necri Phil. Is it Necri Phil? Maybe you didn't mean that. Necri Phil from here, from there, from Denver. I spend a lot of time at the gym. I go uh, five or six days a week for a couple hours a day. I go before work, so I get at the gym at 4 a.m. on weekdays. Pretty goddamn 4 a.m. That's pretty goddamn early. <laughs> it's pretty early, I got to say. So I get to the work by, by 7.30 a.m. But yeah, that's that's the way you do it. Like, these fucking, I ain't got time. Dude, the fucking, I don't know about fucking Sleepy Joe, but in past times, the president of the fucking United States works out. Don't give me this you don't have time shit. Everybody has time. Wake up an hour earlier. You sleep eight hours, sleep seven. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, dude. I mean, like, literally, that's what I fucking do. When I, at the time it comes up, I mean, like, I monitor my, I have an alarm I get up to. I go to bed at the same time every night. Unless it's a goddamn dumb, dumbass show that goes at 2 a.m. like I did goddamn last night. I'm kind of pissed about. Yeah, fucks my routine up. But that's why you have a set schedule so you can get everything in, so you can kick ass. Anyone that's got scheduled schedules, if you don't have a bedtime and if you don't wake up at a certain time, I guarantee your your, your productivity is beyond suboptimal. 100% it is because you're all over the fucking place. It has to be scheduled in. Go-getters do that. Do you think fucking Arnold wasn't ha having a schedule? Fuck yeah, he did. You think Donald Trump doesn't have a goddamn schedule? Fuck yeah, he does. Whether you like those people or not is, is fucking irrelevant, too. Those are go-getters. Those are people that are, are doing shit, have done stuff. Millionaires, billionaires. Not sticking around out. Oh, just get up whenever the fuck you get up. Uh, man, I'm going to watch some extra Netflix tonight. No, you know you're sleeping. If your bedtime is scheduled 10 p.m., you go to bed at 10 p.m. I just can't fall asleep. Okay, what you do is you get on, hire the dog, get on a good supplement regimen, not fucking addictive goddamn uh, drugs like Xanax and shit like that because those ones I'm not super for. I don't mind having them on hand. I don't ever need them. I don't keep my hand because I, I sleep like a goddamn bear. Kicking ass all goddamn day. You just pass the fuck out. But a protocol I use uh, for guys is sleep is I'll get them on a supplement protocol that works. Supplements work, help knock you out. So if your bedtime's 10 o'clock, we're going to give you that shit around 9 20 PM. That way it's kicked in. You're falling asleep. 10, 10, 5, 10, 10. That's what you want. You know? So if you're not doing that, I don't give a fuck what you do, but I'm just saying you're, you're, you're missing the boat, Rob. Right? You're, you're, you're out there shucking and jiving. Just telling you. <laughs> fuck that. Leave all this goddamn shit. 7.30 a.m. However, I'm 39, year old, th 39 years old. Exact same as you be, bro, bro. 39 looks 70, according to the fucking uh, commenters, goddammit. And I'm finding that I am getting fatigued and worn out, and I think I may be overtraining. My question is, what would be a, what would a proper rest protocol look like? How many hours minimum of sleep should somebody get? How many days off should somebody take? Also, what time of day do you work out? What time of day would you consider the best? Best time of day to work out is literally the uh, whatever's the most convenient that you're going to stick to. That is the best answer. If you want to go by just to get really, really technical, it's probably in the evening when you have about a gallon of water in you and about four meals. But it's it's the, the biggest thing is going to be consistency. So if you could go 4 a.m., go fucking 4 a.m. I mean, Jesus fuck. I mean, Arnold trained first thing in the goddamn morning. I think he was training at 5 a.m. when he was winning all his Olympias. It seemed to work. Worked for him. <laughs> is your physique better than Arnold? If not, then I guess it's going to be totally fine for you. So the way I see it, God damn it. Um, rest, eight hours, I would say is the minimum. Six hours, that's for fucking, that's just dummies do that, in my opinion. Uh, sleep is extremely fucking important. So make sure you're getting that. Uh, what is your protein like? Are you eating enough? Uh, but just so you know, too, statistically shows this, too. 
Everybody overestimates protein and underestimates carbs and fats. You know, I'm eating about 200 grams of carbs a day, and I'm eating like 250 grams of protein. That's what I need. You know what most when they actually look at it? If you're not weighing your shit, I'm telling you, I'm telling you you're over doing it for 100% sure. You're, 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 you have to weigh your foods and measure their amounts. So if you're doing like egg, like, oh, well, eggs are easy. That's why because it's just it's like six grams per fucking egg. Um, you're more than likely not getting enough. If you are getting enough, then yeah, I'll cut, try uh, training four days a week. Four to five is generally the max if uh, as far as training. Now, you can go to the gym seven days a week if you're just doing cardio. Uh, cardio is fine. That's not breaking down tissue. That's not stressing the CNS system. I mean, unless you're doing a fucking marathon. But who, you know, I'm just saying if you're just doing 30 to 45 minutes of cardio, uh, that's you can do that every single day. But weight training and you're actually training, which you might not be doing that either. Because a lot of guys, like, they're so-called training. I'm like, dude, this is a fucking joke in my goddamn opinion. Uh, this ain't training at all. And I was like, you literally had five reps in the set. Every goddamn fucking exercise you did. I, I've watched it. I'm like, what the fuck? I see girls in here fucking training harder than you. L literally. I've seen it all the time. So assuming you're training fucking hard and you're doing, let's because you said five, six days a week, cut it down to four. And if you're feeling good, then you're good. Then you're fucking feeling good. You know what I mean? So protein, sleep, um, hydration, make sure you're getting at least a gallon of goddamn water a day. No, they say, dude, so you know if you're not, if you're, it's, and assuming your electrolytes and shit are on balance, you're not just diluting everything, your urine should be clear all the time. The only time it's going to be slightly yellow is first thing in the morning. Outside that, if it's yellow throughout the day, you're dehydrated. That means you need to drink more, just so you know. So make sure you're up on that too and see how the fuck you feel. Go from there. Said also, I picked that Torso Freak Mini LP from Hell's Banger, brah, brah. Thanks for the recommend. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's That was my favorite release of goddamn last year. Or one of them, favorite new band release, I should say. Um, yeah, that was, I thought so. And a bunch of other people picked it up too and said the same goddamn thing. But apparently I was out of the fucking loop because Scott and I left. That's like seven years old, bro. Well, Whatever, I got the LP in hand now. <laughs> uh, Joey Marks, pain question. Yo, J Dog, it's Metal Musician six nine nine six. What's up, Bro Town? What's good in the hood? All's good in the hood. Just did my goddamn Baxter interview last night. Surely you've seen it by now. Yeah, I know you did because I already scheduled it for the goddamn week. It's three days from when I'm recording this. I just scheduled it. I uh, want to ask a question that hasn't been asked yet. It's about fucking time. People always ask the same goddamn shit. At least I don't think it has. What are five DSI songs you have never? heard live that you would want to hear live. For me, it's From Darkness Come, Fuck Your God, Enchanted Nightmare, Crucifixation, and I Am No One. Watch every morning before I head to the job site. Keep it up, dog. Yeah, that's a good question. No one's ever asked that. Um, <clears throat> songs that I want them to do that I have not seen. So keep that in mind. For example... One that comes directly to mind. I can't remember if they did this one when I saw them the first time. It was when they opened they when Marduk opened up for them. It was on the Incinerate Them tour. They might have done it because it was the album after Serpents of Lights. Because I know they did it on a Serpents tour. They you know, own bootleg LPs and bootleg audios and shit. They always they did it. Oh, and obviously the, the live Satan. So they did. What I'm trying to clarify is before Bubbles comes to the box, they've done this live. Okay, but I wasn't there, jackass. Uh Without a doubt, Bastard of Christ. That's that's a staple. I, that's my favorite Deicide song. Probably my, one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite song of all fucking time. That's goddamn, yeah, playing that at my goddamn funeral as far as I'm fucking concerned. Um, so for sure, Bastard of Christ. Um, again, haven't seen. Because they there is songs like Bible Basher and think I need to, I think they, they should include in every set that they don't. But I they did play that when I saw them live. So I have seen that. I just can't remember if they did Bastard of Christ not. I just fucking 25 fucking years ago. What the fuck do you expect? Of course I don't remember. Um, Bastard of Christ. I was going to say B had the prophet, No Lord Shall Live. But since they did the Legion tour, I did see that. They played the whole entire Legion album. Oh, definitely. Uh, again, I can't. And we're going to exclude. There's possibilities they may have played a couple of these. But I want to say no. Uh, when I saw them in whatever it was, 2000, 2001. Um, but I'm pretty, pretty sure they didn't. Uh, Trick or Betrayed, for sure. One of my favorite songs off Cross, and they never goddamn do it. That, that's definitely one of my goddamn favorite songs. That's one of my favorite Dungeon Side songs ever. So, Bastard of Christ, Trick or Betrayed. Uh, Mad at God, for sure. Hmm. 
Mm, one with Satan. I, I was hoping they were going to do that on the uh, Overtures of Blasphemy tour, but they didn't. I thought that was one of the best songs on the opening song. I mean, I liked every song on there. Uh, my least favorite song on Overtures of Blasphemy was um, uh, uh, Defying the Sacred. I like it. It's just it's very melodic, and it, it's uh, it's a very good song, but it just it's a little bit too melodic for Deicide, in my opinion. Uh, as opposed to the rest, which is kind of just straight up Deicide. Uh, but one with Satan was probably was top three favorite song. I was hoping they were going to do that. They didn't. So yeah, one with Satan. Um, and then one more that I've never seen them do. Worry in the House of Thieves off that album everybody hates in Torment in Hell. I'm, I'm sure they've never done that. Well, not 100 percent positive, but I, I'm pretty sure that they, I don't think they like that album. Well, whatever. Uh, so let's go with those. See if we can get one more Pete Scaruni in here. Uh, from a, yeah, let's real quick. Uh, Andrew Pocius, Pocius, P O C I U S. What's up, dog? Regarding your vid on January 27th. <laughs> you better put describe what's in there, God. <laughs> I don't fuck that. Don't tell me shit. What do you think about lyrics like early carcass or the slam bands in the vein of their early lyrical style when you damn near needed a medical degree <laughs> to understand what the fuck they're talking about? Money's a little tight at the moment, but I threw you an extra whopping two scaroonies. <laughs> Just the 10 scaroonies would have been fucking fine. I'd been happy with that, bra bra. To support. <laughs> I kind of homie, goddamn. He's, he's even sending him times and tough. Dog kind of feels bad now, goddamn it. You entertain me every day, bra bra. Keep up the vids and the pose desecration. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm uplifting you and keeping you motivated, hopefully got you setting that alarm clock now, <laughs> knocking out those sleeping pills, make sure you're bedtime. <laughs> then I guess it was worth the extra two scaroonies, right? Um, in general, I mean, I thought it was, it's fucking great for carcass. Um, like microwave uter uterus gestation and shit. You're like, what the fuck is uterus gestation? I'm looking at this 14 years old and reading the lyrics, a lot of titles. Um, I'm cool with it for Carcass because I, I it grew up on them and I, I have it memorized, but I didn't like it. Like, I'll be honest, for pharmacists, I like it for them, but I don't because um, I like it because it has the whole aesthetic and feel and sound and has every aspect of uh, early Carcass. No goddamn band photos even. Look at... Other than the Symphonies of Sickness 12 inch picture disc, dog owns it, of course, goddammit. There's no band photos on the on the albums on those first two albums. You didn't know what the guys look like? Look at pharmacists. No band photos. It has every aspect nailed. But I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I kind of like knowing song names for the bands that I'm, you know, super fan of. Uh, do I know majority of the goddamn uh um pharmacist songs names? No, because they're too goddamn hard to remember. Whether well, there's gardening soils or whatever on medical traditions, I kind of couple the ones that are easy to remember. But since it's a lot of medical terms and they're long, it's like, fuck. And now my goddamn old man years, I'm not going <laughs> to spend the time to memorize this shit. Um, I I wish they maybe used like medical stuff that was more memorable and shorter names, just so that way I can remember the song names a little bit easier. So cool for Carcass, because again, kind of biased, and that's the band I grew up on. So I, I had the time, energy, and I guess brain space too <laughs> to fucking remember the to jam all that shit in the goddamn noggin. Uh, but for uh, another band coming out who I do like, it's kind of like, ah, fuck, I don't want to sit there and remember all this crap. I, I I got fucking the mental energy to try to do that. So it's kind of a catch-22. But, I mean, when Carcass was doing it shit, I mean, let's call it like it is. I mean, dude, that was beyond original. Look, look just listen to those first two, dude. The, the pitch-shifting vocals alone and uh, the real gore covers that they're using and the goddamn uh, the medical lyrics. There's literally no band prior to them, and at the same time that was doing it. Literally nobody. It is original as fuck. And again, that's why I cut fans some slack in today that, yeah, nobody's original. What are you going to do? And again, when people do come up with something original, like, not throwing anything on the bus. I mean, I, I make no bones about it. I'm not trash talking or whatever. Like the band, like Imperial Triumphant or something. Like I remember Tommy Redefining Darkness playing for him. I was like, yeah, I guess it's kind of new. I was like, I'm not gonna listen to this shit though, dude. I was like, does what is this? Is this even music? I was like, this is. I was like, it sounds like it'd be kind of cool to play on like Halloween, like if you're handing out candy and maybe a little spooky in the background. I could see it useful for that. Portal fell in that cr uh, crowd too. I was like, dude, that's not a fucking. When I think, I'm, I like tunes, bra bra. I like shit that picks you up. 
Shit that gets you in the fucking mood. Not shit that drags you down fucking Eeyore style. I like being able to put something on, drive in the car, one hand on the fucking wheel, arm out the window. You ain't doing that to no fucking Imperial Triumphant or Portal. You're just not. And then you get to the fucking gym, still banging that goddamn hand, open the door, slam the fucking door, walk into the goddamn fucking uh, gym, scroll the fucking card, sit down, put the headset on, and start up with fucking 20 rep fucking sets, goddamn squats, listen to the goddamn tish. Get your fucking pumped. I'm not into boring, dumb shits. You know what I'm saying? And for stuff that's going to make you just kick ass in life, stuff that's heavy, aggressive, full of testosterone, anti-fucking twink core, pussy fucking free. Man, shit, get you in the mood, get your jack and stack, blood flowing, the whole thing. Boring shit, yeah, it's original, but it's like, <laughs> dog's not interested, goddammit. Come squish the surgery, look at you, put the combines, get answered by the morning, later, goddammit.